welcome to this MOOC course on analysis and design principles of microwave antenna. Actually, you see our whole surrounding is proliferated with antennas. If you look at any looked up, you can see these type of pictures. You can see those are cellular base antennas, communication antennas. You see these are familiar pictures. Anywhere you go nowadays, whether at the rooftop or in the ground, you see this type of antennas. This is if you look at a ship on the top of it, this is its antennas, various antennas for communication, detection, etcetera. You see these are if you look at any aircraft, there are a lot of antennas for communication with ATC, for detecting the height, for satellite communication. If you look at spacecraft, except solar cells, all the protruding things, they are antennas. So, this one you can see on various rooftops, these TV antennas are there, these are the dish antennas. So, these pictures are familiar and today you can see that these antennas, they look various shapes etcetera, but how do we know that which one is better or which one will suit your purpose. For that actually this type of courses are designed where we will tell you that what is the basic physics principle on which antennas radiate and from them we will go to various parameters of antennas various figures of merits of antennas which will help you to find out the pros and cons of each type of antenna. And then we will see in this course if you have where type of antennas, what are the electromagnetic fields they create, then we will see if you have a aperture like an horn antenna, like a dish antenna, then how to get the radiation from that exactly you will be able to predict that what are the fields that is radiating. Then we will see that if you want to see any practical antenna and see that that is an arbitrary structure, then how you will be able to predict what will be its various radiation parameters. So, that is a generalized antenna analysis and from that we will come to also the opposite problem, the synthesis problem that if you uh, are given some specifications of some antenna parameters, how we will design your antenna to meet those specifications which is called antenna synthesis. Then we will see some of the modern tools and some of the modern antennas, one of them will be impulse radiating antenna which can radiate through an antenna a very small nanosecond, picosecond type of rise time pulse through the antenna. So, those are modern concepts, we will also touch upon those. So, if you do this course, you will we hope that you will be mastering all the concepts which are fundamental to antenna. and you will be yourself can become a designer of antenna. Obviously, antenna design is an arts as well as science. So, there are some basic principles, but as with experience people will design better and better antennas. Now, actually you know the in electronics engineering uh, electromagnet uh, undergraduate course uh, electromagnetic theory is taught, also transmission line and electronic networks is taught. So, these three are the prerequisite for attending this course. You will have to have 
a fairly good understanding of electromagnetic theory, transmission line concepts and electronic network theory. Also, I will advise that you uh, go through three NPTEL previous courses. One was electromagnetic theory, another was basic building blocks of microwave engineering and another was basic tools of microwave engineering. They will help you to attend and understand these lectures. So, anyone who has done B tech or M tech in RF and microwave or PhD can attend these courses. These are uh, actually you know once you attend these concepts, uh, the you will be ready to design antennas for radar industry, for space industry, for mining industry, for infrastructure industry, because there you need to sense the infrastructure health. In mining you need to find out what is behind or uh, below the surface of the earth. Those probes all have antennas, so we will be able to design those. Also defense industry, internal security industry, then uh, avionics industry, all these industries require antenna people, well even computer industry they also require the antennas because you see antennas if there is even in a high speed circuit if you have antennas which radiate that create interference problems. So, all the modern industries today need this expertise of antennas. So, we hope that if you attend this course, you will be able to tackle those problems and you will be able to tackle better, you will be able to design better and better antennas for future needs. So, we recommend that you enroll for this course and uh, enrich your knowledge of antenna design and analysis. Thank you.